Nicholas Dunn. Guys, why can't we be friends? Come on, why can't we be friends? Piece of shit. We study that you guys are horrible. As I'm sure you have noticed, a tragic war is currently taking place in Ukraine where normal people are killing each other for different elites currently engaged in a geopolitical struggle. And as I'm sure you have also noticed, the free and honest Western media knows exactly who is to blame, and that certainly aren't the people who pay their wages. Instead, the entire blame have been put exclusively on the Russians, who have been painted as backwards, wannabe European with severe and irrational nostalgia who just woke up one day and decided to invade Ukraine without any real reason whatsoever. And it isn't only the Western media that has suddenly decided to dehumanize other nations to get young Western men ready to throw their lives away in yet another world war. The world of sports has now also made the courageous decision that discrimination based upon ethnicity is suddenly the right and politically correct thing to do once again by barring Russian athletes from practically every single venue. And surprise, surprise, this normalization of anti-Russian racism, also known as Russophobia, has of course spilled over into the real world as well, with many Russians in the West saying that they are facing increasing levels of discrimination. And these statements are also cooperated by an explosion in attacks on Russian-owned businesses in the West. So therefore, I decided to do my own personal investigation into this completely ignored topic to see if it really is true that Westerners have been filled with Russophobia over this last month, just like they were with Islamophobia after 9-11. So I put on my best Russian accent obtained after years of playing on European CSGO servers and went on the popular social online meeting place Omegle while pretending to be a Russian to see what people's reactions were. But of course I am sure that everyone will be completely reasonable. Hey guys, how are you doing? Where are you from? California? <laughs> That's the fakest Russian accent. That's the fakest Russian accent of ever. Alright, maybe not. <laughs> you support yeah. Where yeah. are you from? Yeah. Guys, do you where support are you from? what they're doing to Ukraine? What? I'm from Ukraine. Do you support what they're doing to Ukraine? What do you mean? What who do I'm, what? They don't even know. Russia invading Ukraine. Putin's a horrible person. Uh, uh you're he about should to, be fucking no, no, assassinated. Oh. Martial law is about to be enacted, so you'll probably get like thrown in jail if you speak out against the government. But basically, you've been pumped full of propaganda. I'm guessing you think the Ukrainian government are all Nazis. Listen. At least we listen, don't have a dictator. Listen, you guys have a dictator, and you just bombed a Holocaust memorial. Do you know what? what? No, we bombed a TV. Man, man, man. We bombed a TV station next to Holocaust memorial. But how is it my fault? I don't know. Man, explain, please. How am I fault? Support them. You think it's okay? You think you're defending yourself by... Okay, so because... it's your fault. Iraq war. Iraq. Iraq, huh? It's your fault. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, is. it is. Yeah, okay, it was. So it's your fault. Personal. Yes. So what? You don't like me. I don't understand. Like you guys... I can't wait till martial law is enacted. You, you, you don't like me because I'm Russian. I don't understand. Guys, why can't we be friends? Come on. Why can't we be friends? Russian commie piece of shit. What's your name, man? Why don't we be friends? <laughs> man, I just want to be friends. And what are we supposed to do? Guys, imagine, imagine this. Russia has military base in Mexico and California. What, uh, no, I'm sorry, in Canada. Canada and Mexico. What do what you guys think would happen? You think, you guys think, like, American like, army would be all okay? What? Yeah. That has a point, though. Kind of like with Cuba. Yes, look at what you do to Venezuela. Look at what you do. What happened to Venezuela? You destroy economy. You destroy everything. And you guys support it. So, am I mad at you as a person? Because of that? No. He's gonna no. die. He's gonna die. Martial law. You're gonna get fucking executed. He's got a point, though. <laughs> yeah. You don't think your government knows what you're seeing? You don't you think don't so? Think... <laughs> you don't think your government knows what you're seeing? <laughs> They do know, they but do. They, they can't do they anything do about it. But, but man, why you hate? Why you start talking about this just because I'm Russian? Why you wanna? Why you wanna talk about this? Oh, maybe. Maybe because you live in an authoritarian regime. And you don't. Everyone who's ever ran against Putin got fucking poisoned. And you killed dumb or shit. Blown up. You need to calm down. Shh, calm down, man. Shh. So apparently, bombing the Holocaust Museum was an accident. I get that. What about the kindergarten? Man, you know what Ukraine have been doing to Russian civilians in Donbass for like That's eight years? You know, they That's haven't been doing anything. Propaganda. They haven't been doing anything. They haven't been doing anything. You are sure about that. that. Nothing happened in Donbass for uh, eight years. Eight years in Donbass. Nothing happened. No? Nothing. Zero. Yeah, nothing. Nothing, nothing happened, happened in Donbass exactly. eight years. Well, anyways, guys, that is great. Thank you. Damn. 
Hey, damn. What's you up? You well bro? hydrated today, my boy? Damn, what's going on? Hey, what's up? Well, nothing, man. I'm just chilling. I don't have my plans tonight. That's why I'm here. <laughs> and you? Where are you from? I'm from Russia. What about you? Fuck Russia. Well, you guys are from America. I said, Mother Russia, I'll help Putin. Oh my god. I, I don't. <laughs> are you from Russia? Yes. How the fuck do you know? We study that you guys are horrible. Ooh, you guys you guys think that we're horrible? Why? Yeah. Because you guys support a government that's horrible, like Putin. Hey, what's up guys? You look like Drew Starkey. That's a compliment. Uh what does that mean? Hockey player. You're hot. No. I just assume. Guys, I think like, you're too young for me guys, but thank you, thank you. You're very nice. Your accent is Man, you, you keep complimenting me. Where do you guys think I'm from? France. No, man, no, I'm from Russia. <laughs> uh, almost. Are you gonna bomb this? What? Uh, Are you gonna maybe... bomb us? Or do you do you stand what for Putin's doing? Mm, I I uh, well, guys, you have to understand. There's two different things in the media. One in the United States that says one thing, and one in Russia that says another. You have to watch know, both to understand what's going on. Do it, just bombing Ukraine to take it over. Mmm, I understand why he does it, but it's sad. Shut the fuck up. <coughs> oh, you're Swedish. You're Swedish, man. Come on. I'm not from- what the fuck? I'm definitely not from Sweden. Oh, you're from Denmark? No. Oh, Norway? No. What? Oh, Estonia? Close. Oh, Russia? Yeah. Anyway, Slava Ukraine. Uh, Slava Ras. Where are you from, man? Take a while, guess. I don't know, man. United States. Yes. Nice. I'm from Russia, bro. Russia. What do you think? Uh now, obviously, these examples of how easily brainwashed the average person can get from the media is a testament to how governments divide and rule us. But however, unlike some of the people we just watched, please do not generalize all Westerners either, because some other Americans that I also had the pleasure of talking to treated me very nicely, and some other ones actually had a very nuanced perspective on the current conflict. My, my family is from the Ukraine. So. Uh, you guys are Jew from Ukraine, yes? Yes. I knew I see the Jufro, bro. I see the Jufro. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And people people ignore the the Nazis in the Ukraine. Oh man, the Nazis of Ukraine are the most retarded people I've ever seen. They fight for Jewish president. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Well everyone in the US they hate Russians. It's sad. Yeah, people say nothing when the US invades Iraq. From the United States. United States. Well nice to meet you, bro. Thank you. Where are you from, man? What do you think? Yes, it's always funny. You sound like you're either from Ukraine or Russia. I'm, I'm not sure. Russian, bro. Russian. Okay. I think if NATO is trying to put weapons in Ukraine, then I don't blame Putin at all. There's a book There's a book written um, by a guy from the U.S. State Department in the 70s, and it's called The Grand Chessboard. And it talks about Ukraine. If NATO can take over Ukraine, then it'll push Russia into being a regional power instead of a global power. Exactly. The United States is not good. Our military is corrupt as shit. Our politicians are completely corrupt. Our military is, they don't care about the United States citizens at all. I, and, and so I support, I support Putin. I hope he succeeds. I hate our fucking government. I, it's horrible. It's horrible. The biggest propaganda machine on the planet is the U.S. media. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Again, consider donating on Patreon. Everything goes a long way and is a great help because making these videos take a considerable amount of time and effort. I hope everyone has a wonderful day or night. And remember, share the video everywhere you can. See you soon.